Hi everyone, it's Sarah here at the Rapid City Public Library here to present another story short for you today. And guess what? We are well on our way until summer reading. And I just want to congratulate each and every one of you that turned in your first 25 day log. And guess what? If you didn't participate in our first 25 days, there's still time for you to participate in our next 25 days. And it doesn't matter when you started our summer reading program. The important thing is that you started our summer reading program. Today I have a little story for you guys called Nobody Hugs a Cactus. And in this story, a little cactus named Hank loves living in the desert and he doesn't quite like to change his regular routine. But I think Hank might be ready for a little change. I think Hank might be ready for some friends. Before we get started, I just wanna thank Simon and Schuster for allowing us to share this story with you guys today. Nobody Hugs a Cactus by Carter Goodrich. Nobody Hugs a Cactus. Hank lived in a pot. The pot sat in a window. The window looked out at the empty desert. It was hot, dry, peaceful, and quiet. Just the way Hank liked it. But every now and then, somebody would interrupt Hank's peace and quiet. Hi, Hank, Rosie the Tumbleweed called out. Isn't it a beautiful day? Hank ignored her. He just wanted to be left alone. Okay, so long, said Rosie cheerfully, and she tumbled away. Hank was happy again. But just as he was beginning to relax, hello, shouted Tortoise. Private property, yelled Hank, keep out. The tortoise was so frightened, he hid from Hank in his shell. Hank was still yelling at the tortoise when Jackrabbit dashed by. Hiya, Prickles, she shouted. My name isn't Prickles, Hank yelled back and stay out of my yard. Oh, Hank isn't very nice. Tumbleweeds, tortoises, jackrabbits, what's next, said Hank. A coyote came loping by. No dogs allowed, yelled Hank. I'm not a dog, said the coyote, and you are as prickly on the inside as you are on the outside. Before Hank could yell back at the coyote, a cowboy strolled past. Keep off the grass, shouted Hank. What grass, said the cowboy. Seems to me somebody needs a hug. Too bad nobody hugs a cactus. Hi, said a lizard. Who invited you, said Hank. And just in case you're wondering, I don't want a hug. That's good, said the lizard, because I don't want to give you one. Then he skidded away. An owl landed on the roof. If you're looking for a hug, said Hank, well, I guess I could give you one. Who, me, said the owl? You must be joking. And for the first time, Hank began to feel a little lonely. The next morning, Hank was feeling more sad and on the inside than prickly. Maybe a hug wouldn't be so bad after all. The wind began to pick up. An old cup blew by and stuck to Hank's face. His arms were too short to get it off. Great, said Hank. After a while, Rosie came bouncing by. I'll get it off you, Hank, she shouted and she jumped up to knock the cup off Hank's face. Then she tumbled away. Hank didn't have time to thank Rosie. He felt bad about all the other times he had been so rude to her. So he came up with a plan. Hank decided to grow the best flowers he could and then give it to Rosie as a thank you gift. It took days, but at last it was ready. He couldn't wait for Rosie to pass by again. When at last she finally did come bouncing by, Hank held out the flower. Look, Rosie, he said. I grew it all for you. Oh, that 
That's sweet of Hank, isn't it? Rosie was so surprised she jumped up and gave Hank a great big hug. It felt so nice, Hank didn't want to let go. And as things turned out, he couldn't. Rosie and Hank had become stuck together. But they didn't care. After all, it's better to be stuck in a hug than stuck all alone. Oh, look at that. The end. Looks like Hank the Cactus made a best friend after all. Wasn't that such a nice story? Well, guess what? You can add Nobody Hugs a Cactus to your reading log. Thanks for listening, everyone, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye-bye.